here's uh, Keith Proctor's second display case. 25 ounce gold nugget right off the front. And then the center of the showcase, of course, is, if you haven't seen it before, Big Red. Out of the Graham's pocket, Sweet Home Mine. Quite the piece. Nice malachite, cerusite. Quite the orpiment piece in the back. Nice rogerly fluorite up front. Quite the, quite the case. Very nice etching jade. Lots of color. Another nice gold piece. Eagle's Nest Mine in California. All right, one piece I got to show you here just because of the color. And correct me if I don't know the pronunciation on this one. I call it calcantite. You can read it for yourself out of Utah. Look at the color on that. It just screams blue. Here's something different. We have a specimen along with a mining certificate from where it was mined. So up front we have a canthite. In the back we have a zinc nugget with a piece of sphalerite from the New Jersey Zinc Company. Going across the back, the Wapiti Mining Company. A nice piece of gold from Summit County in Colorado. This is a certificate I wouldn't mind having in my collection from the Sunnyside Mine. It's a nice piece of Sunnyside Rotocrosite right up front. Moving along, a Chaco Pyrite from Gilpin County, Colorado. <laughs> Trying to finish it off. Only me. Some silver. The Midnight Mining Company. Cincinnati Museum Center. Taking you here because it's got one of the more unusual pieces. And I'm not the biggest fan of pyrite, but that is one funny looking piece of pyrite. Almost looks like somebody's foot with their leg being eroded away. Or a castle. Or a castle, a turret, as Kim says, yeah. Looks like it's from Jasper, Colorado. Interesting. A real round piece. Nice marcasite. And the kind of an egg shaped pyrite. Very interesting. Here's a real nice millerite. Here's something a little different for you. You're into spheres. This is your case. Nice rhodonite up front. Tug to pipe. Rose quartz, <laughs> poppy seed agate, all kinds of interesting pieces. Nice pyrite right there from Peru. A rutilated quartz piece, that's kind of cool. Malachite, tremolite, chrysocolla, lapis, and something from my mother country, charahit. That's quite the ball. That ball has got to be a good six to seven inches in diameter. A big old Amazonite from Russia. Look at the color and the texture in this piece. Oops, sorry for the zooming. Pretty neat. That piece has got to be a good six to seven inches in diameter as well. Neat stuff. Coming to you from the LA County Museum of Natural History, you've got to show this. It's a slice of tourmaline. The actual slice. But look at the color on this thing. I didn't think it was that blue. Pretty incredible. Probably stands a good eight, nine inches tall by six inches wide and very thin. I'd say maybe a quarter to half an inch maximum. Light shines through it quite nicely. All right, I was almost going to walk past this one, but this is, Kim, more, Kim and I look, this is an awesome collection of thumbnails and minis. I'll zoom in on a couple of them for you. There's one here from the Broken Hill Mine in Australia where I'm always on the search for good rhodochrosite pieces, but check out this rhodonite. I don't know if it's gonna come out very well in the picture, but it's rhodonite on calcite, and it's gotta be one of the gemmiest pieces of rhodonite I've ever seen. Pure gem. Another one that caught my eye. 
kind of like a twin diapsase piece in the back here. Pretty cool. Of course, a roto. A bright, bright, bright yellow meta autonite. And a pretty gem, gemmy anglocyte in the back, which is right next to a, a quite a tanzanite piece. Nice stuff. All right, couldn't resist. Personal collection, but it's an entire display case of nothing but rotocrosite. Eagle mine, We've got some grizzly mine pieces up front here. Some pretty nice pieces. Henderson mine, I don't think I've got anything from that locale. These are the ones right up front here. Of course, quite a few from Sunnyside mine. Actually, a very nice couple pieces from the John Reed mine. It's a Somewhat hard to come by anymore. I think I'll have a couple of pieces of those coming up for sale. I did find a couple scrounging around yesterday. There you have it. More Rotocrose. Here we are in the collector's edge room and we've got a beautiful piece of California gold on a turntable here. I thought I'd share it with you. It's quite the amazing piece. So this much is still like, like 35 posters, you know? Yeah, so he said that uh, I guess someone was going to pick them up or something. Wow. Yeah. Very nice piece of gold, long quartz. And if you'd like really nice rotocrosite pieces, here's a good luck pocket piece. 30,000. I want to do single pages that have a picture of a fake mineral. Another gold piece. This one's called the Bristle Cone. And I can see how it got that name. It <laughs> looks somewhat like a cone. <laughs> Greetings from Colorado. It's a lovely sunset over Denver. The main show is just finished today. Hopefully you've had a chance to take a look at the video and get a good perspective on all of the minerals that were on display this year. Of course, the theme this year for this year or so was minerals from Colorado. We've had a wonderfully successful trip. Kim and I picked out plenty of great minerals that we're taking home for your viewing pleasure in the not too distant future. As well, I had a chance to pick up some incredible gold specimens. And I'm gonna to try to get those posted as quickly as I can. So from Colorado, from Denver, it's been a great time. We've had a wonderful four days here. My helper Kim has been just incredible helping me pick out pieces. <laughs> and we've really had a great time. So enjoy. We'll get this posted here as quickly as we can. And just keep looking to AA Rock Shop as we'll be posting new specimens in the not too distant future. Thank you very much, fellow rock hounds, and we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Bidding you farewell and good night.